Hi everybody, today we're debugging with macros. So I've got a little more time and I wanted to do another quick debugging video. I've been doing a bunch of those lately. But anyway, there's something you may have come across in your debugging efforts. So you have a program and I'll use the test programs that I used in my last video, because why not? You compiled it with dash G to include debug symbols and you start debugging and you want to check the value of one of your preprocessor macros. Now, in this case, I want to look at this ARR length macro. And we try to print it out and it can't see it. So let's list the code and it's right there. I can see it, GDB, it's, it's in the code that GDB just listed. So why can't GDB see it? And in this specific example, it's not a big deal. It's a really simple example. We can just look right there. We know that ARR length is equal to 10, but that's not the point because sometimes our macros get a little more complicated and we actually do want to see what their values are. And GDB can't see it and I want to know why. And the reason it can't see it is that the compiler didn't generate any debug symbols for the macro. You see, a lot of tools and compilers view macros as things that aren't really a part of the program. They're generated by the preprocessor. They're often evaluated before tools ever actually see your code. And so they're often not considered as symbols in your program. Fortunately, GCC knows how to put these symbols into the binary. It just doesn't do it by default. So now would be a good time to look at all the different debug flags that GCC offers. And there are a lot of them. And they mostly allow you to control the formatting of the debug symbols. Most of them you can safely ignore most all of the time. But buried deep in this list are a few that are very useful. The first is dash G3. This is just like dash G, but it allows us to specify the debugging level we want. Dash G by default gives you a level of two. Level zero means don't add any debug information. Level one is pretty minimal. And level three means give me everything you got. Now, if we add G3 and compile the code, now when we run it in GDB, now we can see the ARR length macro, which is great. So mission accomplished. Except that you can take things one step further and we can also use the dash G GDB flag. This tells the compiler, I'm gonna be using GDB and I want you to include everything like with G3 and add any special GDB specific extensions that you have lying around. Now, as far as macros are concerned, both of these options give us macro expansion, but depending on the compiler you're using or compiler version, you might get slightly different things included. But the point is, is now whenever you feel like you're not getting enough debugging love from GDB, you can always ask your compiler to put more information in by using dash G3 or dash G GDB, and you just might get what you're looking for. And that's all for today. I wanna to thank all of you that keep coming back to the channel, keep making suggestions, and keep letting me know what you like. If you like what you're seeing here, please spread the word, and I'll keep trying to make videos that make your programming life easier. So thanks, and until the next video, I'll see you later.